The Missing Coach Adapted and told by Kiefer Adams The Fat Controller's engines were finding their work difficult. Dirty trucks, dirty sidings, ugh, huffed James. That's enough out of you, said a well-known voice. You'll be pleased to know that a goods engine from Scotland will be arriving tomorrow. The news was received with acclamation. The fat controller stared. Did you say two engines, Inspector? Yes, sir. Then send the other one back at once. We would, sir, but there's a difficulty. What do you mean? The two engines are exactly alike, sir. They claim to have lost their numbers along the way. The fat controller seized his hat. We'll soon settle that nonsense, he said grimly. The two engines greeted him warmly. I hear you've lost your numbers, said the fat controller. How did that happen? Uh, they more a slightly slip it off, sir. You ken how it is. What are your names? Donald and Doggy, sir. Good. The controller can tell me which of you is which. Ah, you won't get muckle help from him, sir. We only given ourselves names when we lost our numbers. One of you, said the fat controller gravely, is playing truant. I shall find him out and send him home. Inspector, he ordered. Give them numbers and set them to work. Soon, Donald was nine and Douglas ten. The inspector introduced them to Duck, who showed them round before they started work. The twins got on well with Duck. We like it fine here, said Donald. Well, that's good, said Duck. But take my tip. Watch out for the bigger engines. They're sure to try some nonsense. Dinner flash yourself, chuckled Donald. Dougie and I will soon settle them. Donald and Douglas returned home from the day's work. Gordon and Henry couldn't help but hear the sound of their deep-toned whistles. They sound like buses, said Gordon. Oh, ships, sniggered Henry. Tugboat, Annie, laughed Gordon. Ha, ha, ha. Donald and Douglas backed quietly into the sheds. You wouldn't have been making fun of us, would you know? asked Donald. Gordon and Henry jumped. Uh, uh, uh no, said Gordon. Uh, certainly not, said Henry. That's fine, said Douglas. I just mind the both of you and keep it that way. That was the way Gordon and Henry kept it. Every day, Gordon steams in with the express. When his coaches are taken away empty, the engines have to remember to shunt the special branch line coach that's coupled to the back of the train. It is a special coach for passengers who want to travel on Thomas's branch line. Thomas is very proud of his special coach. One afternoon, Douglas was helping duck in the yards while Donald was waiting to take a goods train. As duck was occupied, Douglas offered to take away Gordon's coaches. He was enjoying himself when an awful thought struck in. I hope the fat controller doesn't find out I shouldn't be here, he said to himself. I couldn't abide going back. Douglas worried so much over this that he forgot all about Thomas's special coach. He pushed it with the others into the carriage siding, then went to join Donald. Before long, Thomas came fussing. Where's my coach? he demanded. Coach? asked Donald. What coach? My special coach, Thomas protested. The one that Gordon brings for me. It's gone! I've got to find it! And he bustled away. Rosh sakes! cried Douglas. I'm here to store the special coach with the others. There was worse to come. The twins were shocked to discover an angry mob of passengers crowding the fat controller from the special coach. But luckily, Donald and Douglas's crews had a plan. We know they'll be coming here next, they said. Quick, you two, change tenders and you, Donald, will take the goods. They quickly put their plan into action. The fat controller approached them with some of the passengers. Donald, now with Douglas's tender, was out and away with the goods before they came near. Number nine, 
demanded the fat controller. Why have you not taken the goods? Uh, my tender is a wire, sir. The driver showed the tender still uncoupled. And uh, why did number 10 leave so quickly? He saw you coming and thought it was late. Hmm, said the fat controller. He turned to the passengers. Here, gentlemen, are the facts. Your coach was misshunted. Number 10 disappears. We will get to the bottom of this and the matter will be investigated. Good afternoon, gentlemen. The fat controller watched the passengers climb the station ramp. His shoulders twitched and he wiped his eyes. Just when Douglas thought he was crying, the fat controller swung round suddenly. Douglas! He rapped. Why are you masquerading with Donald's tender? <laughs>